We have five play cards remaining on this lethal zone map, and I'm pretty certain they're all awake, as we have a high chance of a siege. Let's go, Robert. Well, he's a freaking moron, because we're actually playing as Hooch. And Hooch is tasked with taking down the remaining five play cards, but he also wants to find the legendary police chief Jackson while he's out in the field. Man, it's hard to believe that Robert's the last of the alcoholics. Robert was never a member of the alcoholics, and you're playing as Hooch, you freaking moron. You sure you're not the one with the alcohol problem? But speaking of the alcoholics, R.I.P. Shelley, and R.I.P. Jermaine. Is it weird that they were both shot in the face by Gaz? Anyway, Hooch arrives at Police Jackson's house and Hooch becomes psychic. Damn it. Chief Jackson's place looks abandoned. I mean, how the hell would you know that? You haven't even walked in there yet, you knob. As a copper, I'm pretty sure Chief Jackson would have been really proud of my illegal enter and search. Even if I only found road flares, a flashbang, and a proper shite baton. I never saw Chief Jackson without this baton. If it's here, I don't think he made it. Looks like we need RIPs for Chief Jackson in the comment section, then. I haven't been this disappointed with a loot drop since I stamped on that hedgehog and didn't even get any gold rings. So I dropped that piece of shit baton and lobbed the flashbang. Hey, I'm only keeping the flares for like just in case I come across some bloater grenades because I've got none left. So we get to our first play cart which is in this little warehouse. I park up and throw a flare in the hope it distracts some of the hordes. Then it's time to start battering. Okay yeah also just realized got a baseball bat equipped. Not a heavy weapon. Not a great look. Thankfully Hooch is one athletic dude. You'd think with him being an alcoholic that cardio is the last thing on his mind. But how else are you gonna be able to run away from your demons if you're not shit hot on cardiovascular. Hooch repeatedly dodges through the hordes just to get a couple of hits on it with his spiky baseball bat. Ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. I can't believe we haven't even been hit yet. Well, nice one, Dick Eddie. You've almost certainly jinxed us now. I leg it back outside. Stay in it. <laughs> you silly fuckers. Oh, look, bloater. And the flare is working. Okay, bloater, come with me. So I charge in, hoping that the bloater follows me. But he can't hold his nerve and explodes on first entry. Like the video, if you can relate to that bloater. That is bad news. So I burn up the cloud so I don't accidentally run into it. Then start popping headshots for fun. I just can't believe I haven't even been hit yet. I might be the greatest player ever. I can then finally get the first phase off with the baseball bat and take refuge on my car while shit calms down for five. And after we regain composure, we go back in. Okay, right, there's the feral. There's a the feral, you little shit. And the best way to defeat this feral is to lead it out into the open. No close quarters combat for me, thank you very much. Yeah, the armor's gone now. Adios, bitch. And thankfully, that fight was a stroke of genius. The unsuppressed gunfire took all the hordes outside, and I can get several good hits uninterrupted on the play cart. When the hordes arrive, I retreat and run around the side. And I repeat that tactic until the play cart finally falls. Well, hey, we got it done. Not ideal to do with a baseball bat, I'll be honest with you. And look at that. Just like that, we've basically eliminated our entire infestation problem. What a legend. All right, but enough self-gratification, all right? What a cocky prick. Oh, don't you hate it when that happens? Just let me open it, you bitch. Right, everyone outside. I'm taking care of this the old-fucking fashion way. You'll be surprised to learn the old-fashioned way doesn't include extreme heat. And that's mainly because I've wasted all of my bloody Molotovs. I run out of ammo and turn my attentions to a screamer. But before I can deliver the final blow, the crowd disrupts me, and the little shit lives to fight another day. So I go in for a second attempt, but the same thing happens again. And each time, my plague meter climbs a little higher. Although looking back, the knife was definitely in the screamer's skull. Just because he didn't do that weird twisty neck thing doesn't mean he should live. Also, all of this gunfire is definitely louder than what the screamer would have been. And it's not the only time that shit happens. Why do you keep doing that? I'm trying to easy kill zombies. Ah, shit, a feral. Not just one feral, three of the fuckers. Well, I do know exactly how to deal with these. I get into my car like a scary little bitch and await to be rear-ended. That's one feral down. Meanwhile, the second thinks he's a fucking Beyblade. Oh, look at that, they're getting smarter. They're just waiting inside. All right, maybe not. I have to be smarter to draw the last out. And everyone knows ferals love a cheeky J-turn. Easy as can be. But there's still a horde between me and my loot. But there's a reason they call me the zombie slaying John Wick. I mean, should technically be running right now. You are a bitch. That is utterly ridiculous. Sounds like a skill issue to me, but I'll be honest with you. But hey, that's why we always carry multiple play cures. I can then finally loot the play cart for the most average loot drop I've ever seen. I then decide to take a trip back to base as Robert has some curveball intel. Robert wants a chat, we'll go have a chat. Don't worry about the waste of fuel that I'll have to go through, but yeah, sure, Robert, let's go have a chat. That's a good point, actually. Why couldn't Robert just radio me? Maybe he's secretly Amish. No! You bastard! Are you kidding me? I am without a doubt calling bullshit on that one. Well, it looks like we're swapping. Hooch really is not prepared for this. Sleeping bloaters might actually be my greatest nemesis. And to think I thought it was just my own incompetency. So I get back to base, chat to Robert, and put Hooch in the infirmary. The question is, who do I take over as? You already know exactly who we're taking over as. Let's smash some shit up, Gaz. The curveball Robert told me about was thick-skinned, but it's only affecting a small portion of the map, and we have no reason to go anywhere near it. I don't know why, but I always 
always end up taking out player cards in the night, which is probably the least advisable thing to do. My next target is hiding out in a swine of bovine. And after some strategic positioning, I can run in, swing in. And this time I actually remembered to bring a heavy weapon. But the hordes are so thick I don't get a chance to swing at it. And as you can see, before I've even set off a shot, the hordes can grow very quickly. So I do my best to try and draw them all out of the building. This is the point where most people would run and attack a different heart. But not me, because I'm a freaking moron. Now I actually finally get to hit the fucker. And I can finally get the first phase done. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Okay, there is a feral. There is a feral. I try roly polying my way out of danger and slowing him down with a molly. Okay, I'm on fire. I'm not fine. I try to draw the feral out into the open. And he's a dull motherfucker and easily falls for my bait. Good night, sweet prince. Yeah, take that, bitch. Then with how much chaos we've had already, I decide to take down the second phase from the roof of my car. But when I tried to get back inside, guess what turns up? There he is. I thought I heard you, you fucker. But with a mixture of gunslinger and excellent reflexes, the crackhead has his face split open in no time at all. But after all that commotion, there's still half a dozen zombies or so hanging out in the building. So when in doubt, set them on fire and get the fuck out. But for once, that doesn't exactly have the desired effect. Why are they all just waiting in there? Can't you all just chase me for once in your life? They're just hanging around a heart. But nothing will stop me from getting that win. Two more hits and my victory is claimed. Still sticking to my greedy bastard ways, I want to loot that heart before I leave the area. Look, they're confused. They don't know what's going on. I have out- Oh my god, Jesus Christ, no I did not outsmart anything. Oh, I, 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 I. I headshot him from the roof of my car, then run in to claim my loot. And this time he was actually pretty decent. If I had had some explosives, that would have been a top tier heart. The third play cart is in an auto shop. And for once, I don't have 75,000 zombies on my ass. So after a wee bit of cleanup, I get the first phase sorted before a single zombie enters the building. I then immediately go full auto to get the second phase. Although I then become infected as I try to escape an approaching zombie. But that's why we always carry multiple play cures. Ah, look at that. Got a paracetamol. Always sound, but absolutely sound. Although my gun is slightly yellow. And as I jump off my car, guess what turns up? Oh, for fuck's sake. Also, I'm calling bullshit on that tackle, but I force the feral to headbutt my spiky cheeks, then destroy the fucker with my sledgehammer. We got quite a few zombies coming in, but I kind of need the loot. Oh, great, another feral. No, no, not just the one. But I once again take a tackle that defies the laws of physics. Oh my god, not gas, not gas, not gas. Somehow I managed to beat my way out. Jesus Christ, how did I get plague already? That is why we always carry plenty of plague cures, chat. I deal with both of the ferals, then take the hordes for a little walk. And that gives me the time I need to slip around the back and collect again some very average loot. I store the guns in the boot, refuel and head north. There's two play carts remaining and I find the first in this house. But as there's a horde and jug nearby, I decide it would be best to look for the other heart first. And I find it in a warehouse right next to an infestation. So neither heart is in an ideal position, but at least I can take out the ferals from this infestation with the impaler. I again do a cheeky bit of strategic parking and run headfirst into danger. Not that you can see anything that's going on, as nighttime in this game is darker than the boys' group chat. But a couple of heavy hits gets the first phase sorted. I then temporarily retreat to allow the gases to dissipate before going back in and getting a couple more heavy hits in. I complete the phase and try to finish it from the roof of my car. But that's when disaster strikes. God damn it! Oh, great. Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, clear! Yes! Gaz is a beast! And from there, we can finish off the play cart. And we just got one more heart remaining. And for now, at least, it seems the juggernaut that was here earlier has wandered off. We haven't got the bullets, we haven't got the uh, explosives, but we do have a can-do attitude. That's all you need, really. Just a can-do attitude. Great life advice, that. Things get off to a great start as the hordes watch me batter the heart from the doorway. And that's the first phase dealt with. Nope, 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 nope. Jesus Christ. What is it with these bathrooms? I'm always getting stuck in them. I run around the side and in through the back door. Damn it. Why is it fucking zombies everywhere? Almost as if this is lethal zone or something. And the second phase is over pretty quickly. Yes, look, I got out the bathroom without taking additional damage. It's fair to say things are Finally starting to lock up. Uh oh. But he break it again? That was so quick. How did that happen? That was at like less than 20 bullets. I take the fight to the open road to clear the building of zombies. Now we're going in for the final time, chat. One last time. Oi, dickheads. Why are they all going inside for? Did I just hear a feral? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Please kill yourself on my bum, please. Thank you very much. But suddenly my car bursts into flames. But I have no idea how as I should be completely immune right now. I managed to escape even with a feral block in my exit. Then I come up with a genius plan. Need to keep all the zombies near the car. It might help. And by help, I mean clear a large portion of the horde. There we go. Right, that might have helped clear some of them. Didn't do anything for the feral. I take the fight to the feral and we have a great duel. But disaster is never too far away. Wait, what's going on? Are you kidding me? What time to fucking crash?
Smash! Well, this is gonna be interesting. I wonder how I'm gonna spawn in. Am I gonna be surrounded by a feral? That massive horde? The respawn was very interesting. This kind of feels like cheating a bit, because there's not a single zombie around. My car's in a completely different place, although admittedly it is still destroyed. I take this quiet minute to swap my gun from the boot. I then run in, hit it once, and it phases. Wait, I'm pretty sure that's added an extra phase on it. Okay, great. So the crash did really do me damage. Also, very close to plague again. And the feral's still here. And to add insult to the injury, I can also hear the roar of a juggernaut. Well, at least I can deal with a feral easy enough. I then rather recklessly spray the remainder of my ammo into the building blind. That was to try and thin out the horde inside, but as you can see, it didn't work. I get yet another phase off with the heavy weapon, so I'm assuming the crash completely reset the heart. I run outside and wait for the gases to dissipate, then finally drop it. And still wanting to loot it, I attempt to clear the horde with my pistol. And I'm no mathematician, but 11 bullets doesn't go into 300,000 zombies. So now it's time to run like fuck. The car's destroyed. Hope is not lost. You see, the second to last heart was in an auto shop. And that's a guaranteed repair kit as long as I can get there. But a crowd seems to be following me. So I decide to try and fight them. Fuck, no, no. That's two ferals. And uh, no, no, it's free. Obviously, it's free. Because ferals don't hunt in packs of two, do they? So it takes three shots to kill, and I have 20 bullets. Thankfully, I remembered to pick it up before I abandoned my car. I decide it's too risky to try and headshot them from the car, especially with their heads clipping through a solid object. Plus, I've got Gunslinger, so I should be able to handle this out in the open. Assuming I have the right weapon equipped, of course. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, no. I forgot I had the wrong gun equipped. That is an issue. Let's just pop this cure. But after that, I'll only have one remaining. Okay, we go again. Oh, fuck off, man. Why is it not listening to my input? Yes, this, you know, what's the saying about a bad workman blaming his tools? Get away, get away. I really wish I had a molly. Jesus Christ, those fuckers sounded like an F1 car. Thankfully, Gaz is one agile boy. Okay, right. Uh, new plan. We are getting ridiculously low on stamina. Climb, climb, climb for the love of God. I don't think that was a terrible idea. Although, we're now five bullets left. Right, we got one, we got one, we got one. And without the head clipping into a car, I'm able to take out the second. But I've only got seven bullets remaining. Well, it's a bloody good thing I only need one to take out the final crackhead. But all of that commotion has attracted a sizable horde. And I need plenty of time to search that auto shop. I need to lose that horde. And the infestation across the road could really come in handy. I'm pretty sure right now, all I've done is just drawn more attention to myself and created the horde bigger. Great. But it actually worked out exactly how I first intended. That screamer drew the horde straight into the petrol station. That means I can double back around the side and find the toolkit with no issue. Right, okay. Well, now we're gonna have to rush. Especially as I only find a gas can in the first container. Thankfully, I get the toolkit in the second container. And now it's time to run. But I get distracted by a tall ladder. I don't know what it is, but I see a ladder. I gotta climb it. That turned out to be a very bad decision. Great, I just heard another feral. But that's not even our biggest problem. Our impaler we need to repair is surrounded by two hordes. And one of those hordes includes a juggernaut. So I've come up with a plan. But before I get to that, I have another crackhead I need to deal with. And remember, I've only got three bullets. Okay, yep, we've just... I just wasted my last one. That's it. Gaz is dead. Ah, he of little faith. His armor is gone and I still have a sledgehammer. Assuming, of course, I don't run out of stamina. Oh, crap. Yes, you do need a breather. I haven't got a car. No. Gaz, not like this. Not like this, Gaz. Get the ladder, Gaz. Get to a car. Get to anything. I decide to climb on the bus knowing full well the feral can follow me. But by the time he climbs up, my stamina is fully regenerated and I can beat yet another crackhead with my hammer. Thankfully, that stuns him and I can perform an execution. Now my plan for getting home. I noticed a Ranger SUV on the map, and I plan on using its silence to lure away the hordes from my impaler. First, I refill it with the gas I found in the auto shop, and then we head over there. Although, gratefully, the juggernauts seem to wandered off. I also definitely over-exaggerated the size of this horde. Don't blame me, blame the map icons. If anything, I've probably just made a bigger issue for myself, driving over here with the sirens blaring. I'd say that was definitely the case, as nearby there's a horde with two screamers and yet another feral. Nope, 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 nope. there we go. But I'm definitely gonna need to take it out before I can repair my impaler. And remember, I've got no bullets, so vehicular manslaughter is the only way that's happening. I desperately try to reverse over it, but without my spike Uria end, he's immune to my attacks. He then jumps onto my bonnet, and it's basically goodnight SUV from here. I hold my nerve and get up to maximum speed before I jump out. I'm hoping the car will explode and kill him, but I'm never that lucky. The car explodes with the feral nowhere near it. And remember, I've still got no bullets. I only see one possible out here, and that's hoping he can kill himself on the impaler, which gratefully he does. But that doesn't mean this story gets a happy ending. I have to beat off another horde with a sledgehammer. Not an easy thing to do if you catch my drift. And once the last is dead, I try to fix up the impaler. But with it wedged against the wall, I can't get a hitbox to fix it. And I 
didn't even park it here, the game put it here after the crash. I reckon the game believes me and the Impaler are an unstoppable force. Therefore, it needed to nerf us. So I fix up the Ranger SUV and make our way home. Make sure to tune in next week for the final episode of this series and the finale of the Lizard Gang Cult. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.